Hello everyone, this is Jordan Berry, Instructional Designer at Hack, and this video is designed to guide you through the process of creating and managing grade items that will serve as assignments in your D2L gradebook. We'll take a look at how to use grade items to link your Dropbox quizzes and discussion assessments directly to the gradebook to make inputting grades more efficient for you. Just a note, if you have not yet run D2L Setup Wizard, you'll want to do that first. Click the link at the top of the video to watch a detailed overview of how to go through that process. So to get started, we'll click on Grades in the nav bar. Now that you've completed the setup wizard, the only two tabs that you really need to use in this section are the Manage Grades and Enter Grades areas. Now before we begin, I just want to take a second to explain the purposes of grade items to your gradebook and assessments in D2L. Essentially, grade items serve two purposes. First, they represent assignments that exist either inside or outside of D2L and allow instructors to assign point values to these assignments. Secondly, they serve as a link between assessment tools like Dropbox, Quizzes, and Discussions directly to the gradebook so that the two can communicate with one another. We'll look at how this all works later in the video, but first, let's get started by creating a grade item. So to start, we'll click Manage Grades and we'll see that no grade items currently exist, so we'll create one. We'll click the New button, and we'll choose Item to create a grade item that will reflect an assessment that we'll use in our course. The Category function helps you organize the gradebook and is required if you're setting up a weighted grading system, but for our purposes we don't need it, so we'll click Item. Now we can choose the type of grade item, and there's a number of options to choose from. We're going to choose Numeric, as that's the standard option. And now we can start defining our grade item. First, we'll give it a name that students can recognize. Let's say that we want to label this Essay Number 1 Literary Traditions. Try to be a little bit specific in your naming to give students a reminder of what the assignment was. You can add a short name if we want. Um, we'll add Essay 1 Literary Traditions is fine, but it's not required. Now again, categories are used to organize assignments. Like if we wanted all of our essays to fall under one category in the gradebook, we could create a new category for that. But for our purposes, we're not going to do that today. Next is point value. So how much do you want the assignment to be worth? I'm going to say a whopping 50 points. Uh, I don't want them to be able to exceed that amount nor do I want this assignment to be a bonus assignment, and I do not want to exclude this essay from the final grade calculation, so we're going to leave these boxes unchecked. I'm going to hit Save and Close, and now here it is. It shows up. Now, if we want to enter a grade value for this item, we'll go over to the Enter Grades tab. Now, we'll see our students appear on the left-hand side column, and we'll have our essay number one appear in the center with a final grade average that'll be calculated once we get started inputting some grades here. We can either enter the grade for the assignments by clicking the drop down arrow here next to the assignment name and clicking enter grades, which will allow us to put point values for that specific grade item. So let's say BB8 gets a 16 out of 50, naughty droid, and we'll hit save and close. Or there's another way, which I personally prefer, to add point values to these grade items. I like to use the spreadsheet view in the gradebook, and I'll show you why. So we'll click Switch to Spreadsheet View here, and we'll see that we can now enter grades for all of our grade items at the same time, rather than going into each grade item one at a time. So it's a lot more efficient. So BB-8 has a 16, and we'll give Peter Pants a 49 out of 50. Now we'll hit Save, and then yes to agree to save our changes. And now the gradebook is updated and their final grades are calculated and reflected here. Now, because we've allowed the gradebook to automatically export grades to the students, they should be able to see this when they log into D2L. Let's take a quick look at what they see. So now I'm acting as the student BB8 and I'll see that I have a notification here that I have received a grade. Students can either click on that or they can go to grades in the nav bar. Once in grades, we'll see that essay number one appears with the score provided. And if I have more grades in here, I could calculate the final grade average for the course by clicking on this calculator icon here. 
Great, so now back to instructor view. So that is essentially how to set up a grade book item and how to grade them. But what if we want to use some of D2L's assessment tools like Dropbox, Discussion, or Quizzes? Let's check them out. So we're going to experiment first with quizzes. Because we can set up quizzes to grade most quiz questions automatically, we can have that information sent directly to the grade book. And that'll save us a lot of time when we're trying to grade multiple choice questions or true or false questions. But we have to create a grade item that will link that quiz to the grade book. So we'll go to quizzes at the top of the page and we'll create a new quiz by clicking this button here. And we'll give it a name. Now we aren't going to look at all the quiz features, that's content for another training video. We'll just look at how this quiz is going to link to the gradebook. So now that we've named it, we're going to click on the assessment tab. Now we want our quiz to be automatically graded when students complete it, so we'll click this button here. And we'll notice that this quiz is not associated with the grade item. If we hit the drop down, we'll see that we have our essay one in there, but that's not the correct grade item to link it to. So we'll have to add a new grade item, and we'll do that by clicking this option here. Now a pop-up appears, and we're essentially filling out the same information that we did before when we created that first grade item for our essay. We're going to give it a name, and we're going to name it the same thing that we named our quiz, just to minimize confusion for both you and the students. So in this case, Quiz 1 Narratives, or Q1 Narratives for short. Now this is what's going to appear in the gradebook. Now we need to give this quiz a point value. And it's important to note that the default point value for grade items is always 10 points. But we need to ensure that this number is the same as the points that are defined in the quiz or the assessment itself. So let's pretend that our quizzes were 20 points. So we'll enter a 20 here. We don't want them to be able to exceed this, nor is this a bonus assignment. And we don't want to exclude this from the final calculation, so we're going to click Save. Now we want to select the option that allows us to automatically export the points students earn on their quiz directly to the gradebook. So we'll click this option here. And now we'll hit Save and Close. We'll see that this icon exists next to our quiz title. What this icon means is that we have a grade item associated with this quiz assessment. So the two are communicating with each other. Now let's be sure by checking our grade book. We'll click on grades at the top and we'll see that the grade item has indeed been created. So if we take a look, we'll see that it has an association with the quizzes tool. Great. Now let's pretend we have one of our students take the quiz and we'll see what happens. We'll fast forward through time and we'll see that BB-8 has earned a 10 out of 20, lazy droid, and Peter has earned a 20 out of 20. This was all processed by D2L without me having to enter anything because we created that link between the quiz and the gradebook using that grade item. Now it's important to note that linking assignments to the gradebook is pretty similar for each tool, but there are minor differences. So we're going to take a look at how to link discussion topics to the grade item. So when creating a discussion topic, we'll have to go to Discussions in the navbar, and we'll create New, and then Topic. We'll have to create a forum for the topic to be housed in, so we'll click here, and we'll give it a title, and we'll say that it's Week 1 Introductions, and then we'll hit Save. So we'll name our topic Week 1 Introductions as well, and now we'll add that grade item so that it'll communicate with the gradebook. To do that, we'll hit the Assessments tab. Now again, let's check under the Grade Item drop-down. Note, nothing here that we want to connect it to. So again, we'll need to add a grade item. So we'll click that button. We'll give the grade item the same name that we did the discussion topic, in this case, Week 1 Introductions. We'll scroll down and change the point value to 20 points. And none of these other options apply to me, so I'm going to hit Save. Now we'll see the grade item appear on the drop-down list here. Now don't forget, we need to make sure that both the point values for the assessment and the grade item itself are the same. So we'll add the 20 points here. Now we'll hit Save and Close. And we'll see that our discussion topic is created with a link to the gradebook using a grade item. 
Now, last example, the Dropbox tool. So the Dropbox tool is a little different and we'll see why in a second, but we'll click Dropbox on the nav bar and then we'll click new folder to start. We'll give this a name and we'll say it's essay number one literary traditions. And now we'll notice there's no assessment tab here like in the other assessment tools. For some reason D2L decided to put its grade item settings down below on this main properties tab. I'm not sure why, but okay. So we're going to scroll down here. Uh, we're going to give our essay a value of 50 points. Now this time around is going to be a little different. Let's see why. So I'm going to click this drop down under grade item and look. We have a grade item here for essay number one, Literary Traditions. Why is that? So remember, we created that grade item at the beginning of this video tutorial. So it's possible to create a grade item first and then link it afterwards. So that's what we'll do. Now the two are communicating with each other. So to link it, again, we'll just select it from this list there and now it's linked to the gradebook. So when I start publishing grades by reviewing student work in the Dropbox, it'll now be sent to the gradebook. Now, if I didn't create that grade item first, our process would be identical to the others that we had done before. We would hit new grade item, and then we would work through the steps just like we did for the other assessment tools. Now, just a tip here, I think best practice is to create the grade items while you're creating the assessment tool. So think about the tool that you want to create first and then create that grade item from within that tool like has been outlined in this video. Creating the grade item first is more time consuming. It can be kind of confusing and you may forget to link it. So try to remember to create the tool or the assessment first, the quiz, the Dropbox, the discussion, and then add the grade item from within. The only real reason you'd want to create a grade item on its own is that if you're going to assess students outside of D2L, like with a paper essay or a lab or some kind of in-class activity. So that's everything you'll ever want to know about grade items and probably more. If you stuck it through to the end of this video, I appreciate you. Keep on doing awesome things in your courses and don't hesitate to reach out to the CDI team for any questions or help. All the best.